Hi, welcome to Growing Dreams Homestead. I am Dana and my family and I are homesteading on 10 acres in Indiana and behind me is our main vegetable garden. So we're going to go on a full garden tour today and I'm going to show you what we got growing. Come along. Starting out in the front bed, we have our garlic, which I will likely be pulling really soon because it is starting to die out and I think it is about ready. We planted that last fall. The other front bed has strawberries and onions, which are going to seed currently. There's nothing prettier than an onion flower, I don't think. So here is our main vegetable garden. It is located close to the house and close to the chickens because I can consider this a zone one in our permaculture garden plan. It is right next to the chickens. In the winter we let them in here to help work build our soil. So we will start here with this very first bed and it is full of carrots. There are also some potatoes in there that were um, forgotten <laughs> possibly from uh, last last summer. So um, in this corner a little bit I have a sunflower and some calendula, my little garden chair. We have our first calendula bloom, which is gorgeous. Lots of volunteer tomatoes everywhere. You will see this is like the theme of my garden right now. They're, they came up from last year and I've pulled a ton, um, but I've also left a lot. So here is my second bed. It is full of onions and lettuce. You'll also see there's a lot of purslane in there. It is technically a weed, I guess, but it is edible and it's a good ground cover, so I let that stay. Across from it is another bed of onions with spinach. Some of my spinach is bolting because we have been very hot and very dry, which is not a normal thing here in Indiana. Okay, this bed right here behind it, we have peppers and also a few leftover potatoes from last year. The peppers are doing fairly well. Um, a lot of the smaller peppers that I started from seed, are they're coming back, but um, the tops of them were bit off by, I think, birds. So I'm glad to see that they're trying to come back, but they're way behind. I did put an electroculture antenna in here um, to hopefully get these guys going. All right, moving on. I have four beds of potatoes. So there's two beds here and two beds here. They have flowered already. Um, we'll let them go until they die back. There's some sunflowers in there. Last year, I think I grew about 150, maybe 200 pounds of tomato or potatoes in our garden. So hopefully we will get a similar harvest this year. Uh, next we have another pepper bed, which same thing. Um, some birds came in and ate the tops of them, but they are coming back to life and getting some fresh uh, leaves on them. Then we have all of these volunteer tomatoes. I just started caging random volunteers, as you can see, because they are just everywhere. And then across from it is another pepper bed, which also has electroculture antennas in there with these peppers. I'm hoping they can catch back up from being eaten by the um, birds. So we'll see. Okay, this is my volunteer tomato bed that I talked about couple weeks ago I just kind of let it go we'll see what happens I did put a cage in there and I'm gonna bring down some string and do Florida weave on these guys as well as their friends next door like I said volunteer tomatoes in the path they're everywhere and believe me I've pulled hundreds but you know if the Lord gives us tomatoes then we're gonna keep them some of them <laughs> I have another electroculture antenna in here um, these tomatoes are doing really well I will get some string on them soon. I have all of these volunteer sunflowers. As you can see that one is probably eight foot tall currently. 
they got up to like I don't know, 12 feet last year so I think the the chickens being in here really does the trick there's lots of volunteer tomatoes down around the bottom of those I have another tomato bed which I just filmed a little update so this is our um, this guy right here is our tomato that we are using as our basis for our experiment. So this guy does not have a antenna on him. It's 11 inches tall. And then down at the other end of the bed is where I do have an antenna. And he's 10 inches tall, so about still the same. But I did just move the antenna to the south side of the tomato as suggested by Deep South Homestead who uses electroculture pretty regularly. So I'm going to see if that changes things. Uh, also we'll be Florida weaving these tomatoes. That's what those poles are for. So over here, lots more tomatoes. These have cages. These are beef steaks. There's some rosemary. And then in the back, we have our sunflowers. These are my specialty ones that I accidentally somehow bred and had some beautiful sunflowers last year. I think I had like five total. Um, so I saved those seeds and now I have quite a bit in here and in other places in the garden. There's also a couple tomatoes back there on our arch. Uh, I have cucumbers on this side and they are coming up and doing well and also a birdhouse gourd. I have those in all the corners of the garden. Another tomato. Then on this side we have volunteer tomato, lots of beans. They're starting to climb. They will cover this arch and it will be gorgeous. Then we have our companion planting bed with our zucchini and squash. I always plant marigolds, nasturtium, and radishes in there. And we do just let the radishes grow. Um, something about their scent um, critters don't seem to like. So it helps keep the squash bugs away. I've done this. This is my third summer and I've been successful. And then we have the greenhouse. So we'll go in there. So I have been gardening probably about eight years. Um, this is our third year living on the homestead. We've had our land since 2016, um, but we didn't build our house until 2019, 2020. So this is my uh, second year with this garden that we set up. Um, so it's doing really well. I really like the wood chips. It really helps keep down the weeds helps maintain moisture. So it's a windy day today. Woo! Hopefully we get some rain. We did get one day of rain last weekend, which was really nice. Very happy about that. So hopefully we get some more. Okay, here's my greenhouse and it's a little bit of a hot mess. I have not really cleaned up in here, but I'll show you anyway. Okay, so we have some snapdragons. That one's getting ready to bloom. Our sage had some pretty blooms on it. We have our um, dwarf tomatoes doing really well. I had one that got ate by something, so it's gone. So I'm gonna have to put something else in there. Maybe a volunteer tomato from the garden. There's peppers, cilantro, um, garlic and onions in here. I'm gonna be pulling those. We have a couple more peppers, some more cilantro. Then my cabbages are huge. They're doing really well. Like these guys are, are big. They're starting to head up. Um, we have carrot flowers that have fallen down. But I think carrot flowers are just so pretty. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I use them in bouquets sometimes. But I'm hoping to get some seed. I don't know how well they're getting pollinated in here. So it'll be a gamble. So broccoli. I did cut some heads off of here, my lettuce, more broccoli. So all is well in the greenhouse. So my greenhouse is 12 by 16 and it was a DIY build and I love it. I'm so glad to have that. 
we are gonna walk back to the corn and watermelon and pumpkin garden so it's in the back of the property it's doing pretty good we had some deer eat the top off some of the corn so here we go and here is our back garden and we have pumpkins that are doing really well we have corn germination was not great um, and then the deer ate the tops off of some but you can see it's doing fairly well for only having like two rains since it's been planted um, we are working on getting it all weeded out so then I replanted four more rows in here um, hopefully we'll get some rain and they'll come up then everywhere there are flags there is cantaloupe and watermelon they're doing okay um, we just need rain y'all we need rain so there's like a baby watermelon a baby watermelon so, it's a pretty good size back here this is where my old garden used to be before we moved it way up there so far the garden's going fairly well very surprised at how many um, volunteers there are um, but you know maybe we need lots of tomatoes this year and I'm fine with that and I'll share too so um, all is well here on the homestead my flower garden you know needs rain too I'll do a tour of that maybe the end of this week show you how that's coming along but overall things are well I'm excited about this electroculture experiment you know our goal is to grow our food so if we can grow more food by putting some copper wire in the ground you know why not try it why not help the plants grow better and help the earth get some extra energy you know sounds good to me so thanks for coming along with me today I hope you have a great day have a good one bye